Hi, in this video we're going to do a problem from the book called Integral Calculus. And this book is by H.B. Phillips. And 1917 is the publication date. He was an assistant professor at MIT. And so the idea is, uh, if you have an integral containing the form AX plus B, to the p over q, you can make a substitution. And the substitution is the following. You can set ax plus b equal to z to the q, and that's going to cause a cancellation. I think the best way to show you this is uh, with some examples. So let's do an example here. And we have the integral of dx over 1 plus the square root of x. So in this specific example, we're going to use this idea. So we'll simply set x equal to z squared. And so when you do that, the square root of x is actually just z. I'll put this in parentheses down here because we will need this in our substitution. And then computing dx, we end up with dx equals 2z dz, just using the power rule there. All right, so now we're ready to make the full substitution. So dx is equal to 2z dz. So this is going to be 2z dz. And 1 plus the square root of x, well, that's just going to be 1 plus z. There's a couple ways to proceed here. You can use synthetic division. You can use long division. Uh, I'm going to use a really fun trick. I'm going to factor out the 2. And then I'm going to write the numerator as 1 plus z, or rather z plus 1. So I'm basically adding 1 to the numerator. I know the pace here is a little bit faster than my usual videos. And then here you also have the 2, right? because we factored it out. And here we'll just have minus 1, right? because we have 1 minus 1, so that's going to cancel. We're basically adding 0 in a clever way. This cancels. We end up with 2 integral of dz minus 2 integral of 1 plus z dz. This is 1, it integrates to simply z, so we get 2z dz. This is minus 2 natural log 1 plus z. Notice I omitted the absolute value um, because z is the square root of x. So this is 2, oops, mistake here. This is just 2z, there's no z, there's no tc. This is 2 square root of x minus 2 ln 1 plus square root of x plus z. And that would be the result. And again, this is from Integral Calculus, H.P. Phillips, 1917. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Just a really nice technique uh, for integration. Good luck.